My name is Nellie. I'm a trainer here at Theater of the Sea where we train our alligators, crocodiles. I work in the fish and reptile department. Um, we also do training with the sharks, stingrays, turtles, but today I'm going to talk to you about Allie the alligator. Here you go. Good girl. All right, so the way we got Allie is she was actually raised in a t-shirt shop down here in Isla Mirada. And what they would do is they would keep her behind in the back. They would feed her hot dogs, you know, pretzels, just whatever type of junk food there was to feed her. And because of that, when she came to us, she had digestive issues and she also had a big problem with aggression. The girl. We were not able to go inside her exhibit. She would aggress on us. We were not able to do any type of training. When we would clean her pool, we'd have to basically corral her into the corner and clean around her and she would hiss at us with her tail at us, just push at the shield and she was not ever happy about us being in her exhibit. So when I started here at Theater of the Sea, I really took a liking to Allie and I started, I suggested using Jello, which is what I'm feeding her now to start training them. Um, first, what I did was I created a relationship with her. I got her trust. I would just sit here with her and talk to her, um, let her know that everything was okay. I started feeding her the jello, which she did like. But with them, it's really incredible because we think that they like the attention more than anything else. And they really enjoy the, all the um, training sessions that they get and all the attention that we really do give them. We're able to give them about three to five training sessions per day. So I feel like they really do enjoy this. Now, back to my story. Um, first, I started training Allie to come to different areas in her enclosure, or in her enclosure, take the jello. Um, and then I started training her for other things, like she, would, she used to climb the fence anticipating food. I trained her to remain more calm, training her to go down, down. Good. Yeah. And then I really wanted to cha change the way that we cleaned her pool. So what I would do now is I would actually call her back to what we call her land station so she's out of the pool, out of her way, we don't have to stress her out by going around her. And we start training them to station on their buckets. We leave their buckets in front of them and tell them station. We can step away and then eventually by training this behavior and approximating the time that I was leaving, we were able to step away for long periods of time and even to enter their exhibit to do any cleaning or maintenance work that needs to be done. That way, like I said, Allie is completely out of the way and we don't have to stress her out in any way. And she was completely okay with this. Now we can station her for up to about 30 minutes while we clean her pool. Good girl. Nice job, Allie. And then I started to figure out that I had such a great bond with Allie that I can basically train her for anything. And she really has been a success here. She has a much better life now than she did before. And um, one more thing that we have trained them is actually to paint. Allie here is a great artist. We have taught them to hold a paintbrush in their mouth and paint on a canvas. They're also very festive. They enjoy painting for the holidays. They'll paint pumpkins for Halloween and ornaments for Christmas. So I'm just going to show you a brief example by having Allie just hold on to the paintbrush. Are you ready? Hold that. All right, Allie, paint. Keep going, paint. And back one more time, keep going. <laughs> paint. Very slowly, like an alligator. <laughs> They don't really have the response level that you would see in a marine mammal like a dolphin or a sea lion. So we have to have a lot of patience with them. We have to work very carefully with them based off their behavior for the day. We're not able to, they act differently depending on the weather. If it's raining or if it's cold out, they kind of have a decrease in appetite, but they will still come over for play sessions. We'll spray them with the hose or give them some enrichments. Allie loves playing with buoys in her water. That's one of her favorite toys. Paint. Good girl! Nice job, Allie! Very good. And then once we figured out how much training we can do with Allie, um, we took the same behaviors and we just trained it to the other animals that we have now, like Piper and Igor. And they went from not having any sessions at all, and now they know about 20 behaviors. Most of these behaviors are husbandry behaviors. 
They're trained to walk into a crate so we can transport them in case of a hurricane or any other emergency. They're trained to step onto a scale so we can get a weight on them. This way, if we ever need to give them any type of medication, we know the proper dosage to give to them. Like I was telling you about before, that um, control station, we teach them how to paint, and we can even do tactiles where we go right inside with them. We're able to pick up their feet and their tail. Hi. And this way, if, we're able, if they ever have any injuries, we're not able to medicate those injuries. So they do have a very good and healthy life here with us. Special thanks to Nellie and the entire staff of Theater of the Sea. I'm Efish, and thanks for watching Aquaparel TV.